Hey guys, trying to be making some elk backstrap here. I got it just kind of cut in a chunk here. Usually my family, we do all of our own butchering and we always had sliced it into steaks all the time. But the last two years, I started to leave them into chunks. So you'll get more of a loin. So tonight I'm gonna cook this thing up in the cast iron skillet here. Gonna fry it at first, then I'm gonna throw it in the oven to get the finish on it. So right now I'm gonna start with the seasoning of it. I got it all cleaned off and prepped already. So it's ready for the seasoning. I'm gonna start with just kind of a coat of salt. Just kind of get it nice and, just a nice light coat on it because we're gonna be adding more seasoning to it and we don't have, to have a little bit of salt in it so we don't wanna overdo it. We'll just kind of get it nice and salted. Then we're gonna move on to the pepper. Kind of get some a little bit of pepper and just rub it into it as we're seasoning it, just sprinkling it on. Just get that nice even cover to it. Get the whole chunk. And then I'm going to use Cabela's Roasted Garlic and Beer. I really like this seasoning pretty much just about on everything. We're gonna get it really nice and covered with this seasoning, since this is our main one. You don't wanna be afraid to over season it too much, because usually people will not season it enough, thinking that they actually over seasoned it, but they didn't. So we just wanna get the whole thing coated with it. So now that we have a good coat on it, we'll get the pan heated up and we'll just let the meat sit there. Then we can also making tonight sweet potatoes. We're gonna fry those up in a cast iron skillet. And for those I used um, olive oil and then some of this sriracha onion seasoning to kind of balance out the sweet of the sweet potato, kind of give it a little spice and it turns out pretty good. Okay, I got the oils heated up here. I got my oils for the sweet potato set on a kind of a medium. So I'm gonna get these guys cooking first. Start them. And then I am going to put on my chunk of meat. Now I just used olive oil in the pan. And I want to get a nice sear on both sides. Actually, I'm going to get a nice sear on one side. And then I'm going to flip it. Then I'm going to put on three chunks of butter. Then I'm going to stick this thing in the oven to finish it off. It'll probably take about, for this size of a chunk of meat, probably 12 minutes, I'd say. But I'm going to check it at 10 and see what it looks like. very long we got a good sear on that side so we're gonna flip it over get that side then I'm gonna put the butter just kind of stack it on here like so and then we will put this in the oven it is set at 350 degrees and we will just let that guy cook in there for 10 minutes then we'll check it and hopefully it'll be done but probably not because of the size of meat so it'll probably take another two or three minutes roll all right guys it's been 10 minutes just kind of going to have a look at it here and check the 
around the outside of it to see how it's browning. And it looks pretty good, but I think for the size of the piece of meat it is, it's going to take a little longer. So I am going to add about three more minutes to it. I'm going to recheck it again because we want to make sure it gets nice and cooked. It'd be best to puncture it and see what the temperature is, but I don't want to puncture it and let all the juices out. So we'll just add a little bit more time and see what it looks like in three minutes. So I actually went another four minutes on it. Let me check it here. I think it's looking pretty good. We just wanted to get that nice to where it's brown before it had a little bit of blood coming out of it yet. So right now it's just about perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it. We're gonna let it rest for another five minutes. So total time cooking in the oven was 14 minutes. And then we're gonna let it rest five. Yep. All right guys, moment of truth. Let's see how well we did and the timing of this thing. So we let it set for five minutes. Oh man, look at that. Looks so good. So then we're just gonna cut into this guy. It's probably still a little hot yet. Oh wow, look at that. That does look good. It's probably a little more rare than some people would like, but that's just about perfect. You don't want to really overcook it. I mean, you could almost go a little bit longer, probably be a little better, but for me, it's good enough. Just under medium rare, so um, it could almost go in the oven for another, oh, maybe another even five minutes if you want it to be done. But we're going to plate this up and see how it looks. All right. So we'll see how the flavor turned out in this thing. Oh man, that's so good. That turned out just about perfect. And we rounded out our meal today to add a little color to it with just a little spinach salad and I didn't use dressing on it. I just threw on some salsa and some hummus and I'll mix that up then with my sweet potatoes. This is about perfect and balanced meal as you can get, which is awesome for a post-workout meal, to which it is. So, enjoy. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions that I didn't I might have missed anything that you want to know, just shoot it in the comment section. And I hope you liked it. And I plan on doing some more of these videos, try some different recipes, cooking up stuff. So be sure to subscribe. I will post more videos of cooking and hunting. So thank you for watching.